Recently, AMD has reduced prices of all the Ryzen 7000 series CPUs. I think that now is a good time to revisit the Ryzen 7000 vs Intel 13th gen topic to compare the latest processors from both companies in gaming as well as productivity apps, to find out which is the best buy for you. I will compare Ryzen 5 7600X vs i5 13600K, Ryzen 7 7700X and Ryzen 9 7900X vs i7 13700K. And lastly, Ryzen 9 7950X vs. i9 13900K. Before that, a quick message from a sponsor. Buy your Windows 10 or 11 key for less from cdkeyoffer.com at the link in the description below. Use code IV20 to get a 25% discount that brings the price down to as low as $16. You can securely check out with PayPal and receive your Windows key in minutes, ready to be activated on your PC. Ryzen 5 7600X used to cost $299, but now it has been discounted to $249. However, AMD says that this is a temporary discount for the holiday season period. In my opinion, these new prices should stay permanently for Ryzen 7000 processors to be properly competitive versus Intel 13th gen offerings. You will see why I think that once we go over the performance figures. By the way, at the time of writing, Intel has not discounted any of its CPUs. So, we are comparing a $320 i5-13600K versus a $249 Ryzen 5 7600X. First, let's compare these CPUs in games. 13600K claims a win in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. But in Rainbow Six Siege, 7600X takes a significant lead in both 1% low as well as average FPS. Ryzen 5 7600X is also a slightly better option for playing PUBG. In Fortnite, both processors are quite evenly matched in terms of average performance. Let's move on to AAA single-player games. The performance difference in Cyberpunk 2077 is insignificant, I would call it a tie. We see a similar result in the Spider-Man Remastered. Red Dead Redemption 2 represents one of the few games where we can see a clear performance difference. Here 7600X is 6% faster than 13600K. Looking at the bigger picture, where these CPUs have been tested in 54 games, we can conclude that Ryzen 5 7600X is indeed 5% faster than i5 13600K. So, if you are building a PC exclusively for gaming, then I recommend buying a Ryzen 5 7600X. It is cheaper, more power efficient, and comes with a platform that will give you an opportunity for an easy upgrade in the future. AMD will launch at least two more generations of Ryzen processors on this platform, while Intel will require you to buy a new motherboard starting with the next generation of CPUs in 2023. However, if you also plan on doing some CPU-intensive work, such as rendering, video editing, compiling code, etc., then i5-13600K at $320 is a better choice as it offers a better performance across a vast number of professional applications. By the way, please consider using my Amazon affiliate links in the description below to buy your CPU, motherboard and other PC parts. Your support allows me to keep making these videos for you. Going back to our topic. There is also an argument to be made here that we are getting close to Ryzen 7 7700X territory when considering an i5 at $320, because 7700X currently costs $349 and offers a better gaming performance and wins versus 13600K by a decent margin in some professional applications, including Adobe Apps and Chromium Code Compile. Before the discount, 7700X was directly competing with Intel i7-13700K, which is currently priced at $440. But with the new prices, 13700K is stuck in between a $349 7700X and a $474 Ryzen 9 7900X. 
Also, right now the 7900X is discounted even further and can be purchased for $440 on Amazon as a part of the Cyber Monday deal. This price may stay for the whole holiday season or come back during other upcoming sales. So check it using the link in the description below if you missed the Cyber Monday sale. Let's summarize. If you don't use professional applications, then Ryzen 7 7700X is actually the best choice for a gaming PC, because it outperforms even the flagship 7950X. Additionally, it offers the same performance as 13700K while costing less, being more power efficient, which also means that you don't have to spend as much on a bigger cooler. And it comes on a superior platform, which will allow you to easily upgrade to a Ryzen 8000 or 9000 series CPU in the future. If you are using professional applications, then Ryzen 9 7900X gets a recommendation from me over the i7-13700K, for the exact same reasons. 7900X is more power efficient and comes on a better platform. It is a brilliant choice for Chromium code compiling as well as Adobe Premiere Pro. 7900X offers a better performance in a large number of apps over the 13700K, including 7-Zip and Corona Benchmark. However, 13700K does win in Photoshop and After Effects, but not by much. So I can't really recommend it while its price remains at $440. Lastly, let's talk about the most powerful products on the mainstream market. Ryzen 9 7950X at $574 and i9 13900K at $650. On average, 13900K is 6% better than 7950X in gaming. However, this difference is not significant enough to call it a win because 13900K costs quite a bit more and consumes a lot more energy. In Cyberpunk 2077, 13900K was chugging between 170 to 180 watts, while 7950X consumed 140 to 145 watts. In professional workloads where all the CPU cores are pushed to the maximum, 13900K becomes even more power-hungry, consuming 138 watts more than 7950X. In terms of performance in professional applications, 13900K claims some wins in Adobe Photoshop, After Effects and 7-Zip compression. In other apps, Ryzen 9 7950X is as good as 13900K or better, in some cases by a lot. That is why I recommend picking Ryzen 9 7950X. It is cheaper, more power efficient and you can easily upgrade it to a Ryzen 8000 or 9000 series in the future, while 13900K is part of the last generation on the Intel LGA 1700 platform and will require you to buy a new motherboard if you want to upgrade to a 14th or 15th gen in the coming years. I hope that the information I shared with you today helped you make an informed decision. If you did decide to go with a Ryzen processor and want to know which motherboard is best for you, then here is the next video for you to watch. And if this video was helpful, then you know what to do. Your likes are very much appreciated. It was I, Vadim, until next time.